Hey everybody! Welcome to Kielbasa Corner, where today I'm going to turn this everyday average pork shoulder into these sweet and satisfying maple breakfast links that everyone's going to love. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is get this pork shoulder deboned and cut up for the grinder, and then we'll take a look at the spice bill. I'm making a two kilogram batch of sausage. You can round that to four and a half pounds if that's easier for you. And as always, check down in the comments for all the converted recipes. So here is the spice bill for this saptacular sausage. Starting with the salt, I've got 40 grams of plain salt, so sea salt or kosher salt. Any non-iodized salt will work here. This is 10 grams of fresh cracked black pepper. And a little bit of heat always pairs well with something sweet. So I've got five grams of ginger powder and also two grams of cayenne pepper. And this is totally optional. Use as much or as little as you like. Sage is a classic flavor in breakfast sausage. So I have three grams of rubbed sage powder here and also 10 grams of fresh sage that I'm gonna mince up into very fine bits. And that's gonna add a little bit of freshness and some colorful pieces that are gonna look really nice in the sausage. And for binder today, I'm using cornstarch. Potato starch is fine as well. And this is gonna help bind everything together and it's gonna help this retain a bit more moisture when you cook it. So I've got 40 grams of cornstarch here. And now for the star of the sausage party, we have to use some maple in a maple sausage. So I'll be using 100 grams of maple syrup. And you could use an amber maple syrup like this or a darker syrup. I've actually used a barrel aged syrup and that turned out really nicely. I imagine even artificially flavored pancake syrup would work. But I'm keeping it real with the pure maple syrup. These ingredients make a great sweet sausage on their own. But I can tell you from experience that the maple syrup alone doesn't carry a lot of maple flavor or aroma through to the finished sausage. And simply adding more maple syrup won't really help much. You'll end up with a sausage that's so sweet that it throws the flavor off. And also using a lot of sugar makes the sausage darken up really quickly when you cook it. So it's easy to overcook the outside before your lovely sausage is cooked all the way through. If you want to get the sort of aroma and flavor that the big brands have, you're going to need to multiply your maple. And to do that, I'm adding in a bit of maple extract. Now this works mainly as an aromatic. It doesn't actually taste much like maple, at least to me, but it adds a bunch of maple fragrance that when matched with the sweetness of the sausage, sort of tricks your mind into tasting maple. It works very well for that. And I'm not sure what the big brands are using, but this is about as good as you're gonna be able to do with what's readily available at your grocery stores. Now it doesn't take much of this. I'm just gonna add 10 milliliters, about two teaspoons to this batch, and that should do the trick. Now this of course is completely optional. So if you don't wanna use any extract, leave it out. So now I'll combine all of my dry ingredients. Now 
let's grind some meat and mix up this tremendous sausage. I want this to be a fairly coarse sausage, so I'm gonna run this one pass through this six millimeter plate. But you grind yours however you like. syrup in there. That'll help things mix up. Give that jar a little meat wash. Make sure I get every little drop out of there. And that extract. Now, when you're mixing up a fresh sausage like this, you don't have to mix it a whole lot like you do with a smoked sausage. I want those smoked sausages to bind really tightly, whereas this one, I want to be a little bit looser. And that'll give it a really nice mouth feel when you bite into it. So just mix this very thoroughly, but you don't have to go to the point where it gets real sticky like you do when you're doing a smoked sausage. Now with the meat all mixed up, this is essentially ready. I would leave this in the refrigerator overnight to let the flavors kind of mingle around. But if you just want a loose sausage, you can then pack this up, pop it in the freezer, and you can have that sausage whenever you want. But if you want to stuff your sausage, and of course I do, you're going to want to use these fresh collagen casings. And these are specifically designed for fresh sausages like this. This is a 21 millimeter casing and I always like to use a stuffing tube that's just a little bit smaller. So this one is about 16 millimeters. It's 5 eighths of an inch. And that'll help me to keep from overstuffing this and hopefully keep from any kind of breakage. Everything is ready and Corn Pop is champing at the bit to get this one done. So let's lock and load and crank out this sweet and savory salchicha. with collagen casings that they don't hold a tight link very well like a natural casing does. So about as good as you can do is link them up, just give them a couple few twists and then continue on making sure that you're alternating the direction that you're twisting. And those are going to want to come unraveled on you, but that's all right. They're still going to have a nice shape to them when you cut them apart. And when I'm making these things at home, I'm not too much of a stickler about making them all exactly the same. Size doesn't matter in this case. Now that is certainly a beautiful looking sausage and it smells incredible too. There is a ton of maple scent coming off of that. So now I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator overnight to let those flavors work their way around in there. And then we'll try this one out for breakfast.
let's see how we did. We certainly look excellent and this whole place is just inundated in that maple fragrance. Woo! Check out that bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is nice. That is exactly what I was going for. So good. The seasoning is just right. The sage and the ginger play really well with the maple syrup. And then you get just a bit of zing from the black pepper and cayenne on the end there. Absolutely delicious. And that coarser grain, that is just so nice when you bite into that. This is a fantastic breakfast sausage. And I'll take mine just like this, but I think we all know what you guys are gonna do. Oh, mm, now that is a sweet sausage. <laughs> so easy, so delicious, and this one is going to be a perfect addition to any breakfast. So, I really hope you try this, and I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Now this gives me an idea.